This is the house deep in the woods covered with trees High on a hill we built this house We cut the wood covered with mud High on a hill I have a pretty extensive history in hand tool work, uh, but not especially carpentry, and it was just a really great way to get involved in the community uh, through work. And I thought it was really inspiring, and I've been hoping to get more into carpentry, and in fact was sharpening a chisel right before I got here. For me, the magic of unlocking the, the lumber's potential in keeping wood dry was really special and uh, again I appreciated the meticulousness of the process. I just want to speak of the suddenly the the self-empowerment knowing that like with this new with this knowledge of timber framing you're able to build a structure that you can live in like I, I mean I've done some carpentry but I could never build a house but now knowing what I can do with timber framing I feel like I can build a house. It was just cool to watch a big group of people that's all friends with each other doing something together by hand, totally. I mean, I'm used to like using power tools. There's like a crane on the raising. It's all mechanized. It's like all kind of commercial, but this was like just people who wanted to like put some elbow grease into a project together. And, uh, you know, we're all like, you know, all 15 of us were needed to lift that one oak timber and like kind of just watching us like lift it all together instead of just having like a huge machine that does it. You know, it's just cool and like really down to earth. Um, it was really exciting to feel like this is a skill I could pick up in a relatively short amount of time and that we were all learning together. And I loved how Ariel taught us kind of everything from the layout to the cutting to the assembly and it really felt like we could do every step of the process which felt really cool. I love how there's so many little things hidden in the timber frame building, how there are prayers hidden in the rafters and I love how um, especially what came out to me was how cooperative it was to lift the giant weight of the beams very high in the air and everybody to be safe and to get it all to go together. And it, it, you just get a really good sense of like what a collective team effort it was um, to put together the building and you know how many people's energy went into it. It was a really beautiful experience to be part of that. and uh, kind of amazing what can be accomplished uh, in a short amount of time with some positivity and friendliness and group, group of loving people. I'm struck by the meticulousness of the work. Like even in time lapse, I'm like, oh, this shit took a long time. And there's so many steps. And yet it did only take a week. Like we did this from lumber to installed in nine days that's rather remarkable doing the workshop informed me what went into making the do the current dining hall like suddenly i'm seeing the rafters in a lot in totally different light like you're seeing the work and the muscle strains that you have going into that and yeah i totally think we could d build the dining hall like y'all were able to do the kitchen we were able to do this you know woodshed we could definitely do the dining hall. Easy. So for me, one of the differences in this project was um, Ariel made each of us learn how to do the layout. So we all had to become proficient on, you know, here's the plan, lay out the beam. And when we did the kitchen, we kept relying on Wave or Matt to do that. And so it was really cool that each of us got the skill and took more theory into it so that we could, you know, do more in the, the bigger project, like putting together the dining hall. It made me feel like I could easily supervise people if Ariel and Matt Busey weren't there. One of the reasons I love timber framing so much is that there's kind of this awesome paradox where it's really meticulous, fine work. And yet it's also really accessible and 
you know, in, in, in a sense, even in a sense, it's complex it's, and it's really sophisticated. And in a sense, it's totally not rocket science. It's it's actually really simple and elegant. And so it's this really fine trade that people can learn and is really empowering. And it, and it feels good because you see the the degree of complexity and beauty of and of, of what you're making. But it's also it's also accessible. These are people, you know, a, a large part of our crew had never timber framed before so not only did we do it in eight days we learned how to do it and did it in eight days you should have seen it when all the fairies got inside that the wood the timber frame woodshed for the first time everyone's just like we really going to use this for a woodshed? Like, this looks like I want to live in here to slap some walls up and it's perfect. Like, it's such a beautiful structure and it makes me so confident that we can make something equally beautiful, even more, or even more beautiful as the dining hall, as the, a place that we can sleep and snuggle and eat and party and meet and gather. Learning the tool is very empowering to us as a community in general. Hello everybody, this is the kitchen that we built several years ago. It's timber frame, straw bale, plaster walls, and tile mosaics. And this is where we want to build the dining hall. Fairy Camp Destiny is a radical fairy intentional community located in southern Vermont. Founded in 1997, Destiny hosts three to seven gatherings each season with a week-long theater and performance gathering. Five to eight fairies have been living at Destiny three season to help keep the sanctuary and host gatherings. At this time, the fairies seek help to raise $65,000 to construct a winterized timber frame and straw bell dining hall. The dining hall will provide seating for 35 fairies, as well as a living room space, and a sleeping loft for winter residents until winterized cabins are built. The fairies also seek $25,000 to install a solar electric system, which would provide the necessary infrastructure for year-round residency. Please, won't you consider making a tax-exempt donation to noplacelikehome.fairycampdestiny.org and help make our vision a reality and put this timber frame crew back to work. Blessed be.